I am a gunner, 50 cal gunner. This is Specialist Stephen Schmidt's first tour of duty. He's grouped with Evansville's 163rd Alpha Company and has the most dangerous job a soldier can have fighting in Iraq. I sit up on the middle of the truck and I scan, make sure I don't see any IEDs. I uh, look for you know, people with uh, AK-47s, a range of things. Schmidt says being under the constant threat of attack is difficult. Convoy security is the lifeblood of the war and what the enemy most often targets. IEDs are the primary threat, but Schmidt says they're not the only one. You have small arms fire, AK-47s. Um, you have civil I mean, believe it or not, civilians on the battlefield, you, you have to be able to spot them. I mean, the civilians on the battlefield can just be just as dangerous as an insurgent because you don't know. Convoy security is one of the most dangerous jobs a soldier can have in the war in Iraq. Heavy armor on this truck and bulletproof glass help keep the soldiers safe from an outside attack. But a classroom is where the soldiers learn strategies that will help them in a war zone. Don't assume, don't expect, inspect that it is not clear. Soldiers are going to make mistakes, and classroom instructors know that. But through repetition, the Army hopes they will only make them in the classroom and not in a war zone. Our instructors are doing everything for us. They're trying to keep us safe. I mean, but the, when they're hollering at us, I mean, it's not really hollering at us. They're hollering to us, saying, hey, you guys got to get this in your heads. It's going to save your life, and it will. New technology taught in the classroom is helping our soldiers determine who the bad guy is on the battlefield. It's called biometrics, which uses fingerprints and iris scanners. These devices can identify known terrorists and insurgents. Soldiers in Evansville's 163rd practice on each other. Practice, Schmidt says, may one day save his life. In Kuwait, Jason Classful, Fox 7 News.